All right, click the links to join the channel here on Subscribe Star. Thanks for everyone's very, very juicy, uh, generous uh, donations for the uh, tech fund. So this is what you could have had. I mean, it's like, why didn't you just give us, why didn't you just give people what they want? Oh, because that attracts the male gaze. And? And that's problematic. No, no, you have worms in your brain. You're completely brainwashed by Bolshevik propaganda. Whatever CNN tells you is in, in your worldview is the truth. You're just, everyone, on the, these people, are on the right too, there's like, do, are you parodying information? Is it stimulus response? Or are you stopping to think th things? Why do I know this? Oh, I know this because my, my college professor told me. Okay, so you're repeating, but did you stop to think about it? It's like that guy, uh, he's uh, he's giving an explanation. Uh, he's a field scientist, and he's a field researcher. And he's giving an explanation about the difference between original, um, you know, man-on-the-scene field research, taking notes. And he's talking about, you know, students in the class who are, are, you know, kind of brainwashed by this concept of peer review and reviewing other pieces of paper instead of, like, actually getting out in the field and doing science. And it's like that with the scientific method. It's like that with everything. I'm glad I went to college at a time where the scientific method was, you know, that was the concept. And and even, even outside of that, uh, in the humanities, they were still teaching you how to think and not what to think. In fact, I had a, a, a a science professor say that and I remember it stuck with me and it's just and like the at the time at the university they were like that was their thing but it wasn't just the sciences it didn't matter if you're doing an interpretation of Upton Sinclair's novel or something it was still you reach your own conclusion you know how to think how to use a scientific method and, and you look around at the kids today like are you still are you being taught what to think or are you being taught how to think and I, I kind of get the feeling if you looked at a college campus now um uh, it wouldn't uh, wouldn't bode well, though you never know. So um, you could have had this. Oh, that looks like a real fun Doctor Who. But <laughs> instead, you got this. It's like you took a beautiful chick with a rocking body, thin, but still. I love. I, I think thin is awesome. But um, and you gave her to the designers, and then you 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 told them what you what, what you want to do with her. And the, the 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 gay dude who's your designer is probably like, why are you doing this to this chick? I didn't get into fashion to make people look stupid. It's like, yeah, this is what we want. We want to conceal the, the male gaze. And the guy's like, don't you think that that's a part of your audience? You know, the thing is, I always talk about Transformers and Megan Fox and saying that, yeah, that's a piece of the audience. And nowadays they, they look at it and they go, yeah, but we don't want that audience. So you're saying like, you're just willing to throw away all that, the revenue that comes. And the thing is, it's not like, it's not like it's some horrible thing you're doing. Oh, yeah, just dress her up, glam her up, whore her up, make her look as pretty as possible, like bring out her natural assets. It's like, does that go against your value system? Are you asking someone to do something that's so out of whack? It No, I think most most people would want to be as well-dressed as possible. Do you do that to the men also, or, or do you dress the men as well as you possibly could? It's like, why would you, like, why do you believe anything these Bolsheviks, these they nucleate the ideas, and then everyone else just propagates them without stopping to think about anything. So Doctor Who budget set to uh, increase by quite a bit. I didn't know the budget was a million to two million pounds as is. I, Doctor Who was a low-budget, fun, very low-budget show at some points in its history. Teaming up with Disney to increase that to like 10 million pounds. It doesn't really seem to have the same vibe with Doctor Who. And Doctor Who, in case you haven't watched it recently, is just whatever... Um, is popular at the time for the like a left wing talking point. It's something about a global warming and global cooling, and they're happening simultaneously. Again, like stop to think. You ever look at the science behind any of these kind? It's like whatever is popular at the time. That's a left wing talking point. Like literally, that's how topical it is, and it's just. It's stupid. It's really, really stupid, which is why not a lot of uh, people watch it. So here's where the situation stands. Uh, they got tied into Disney, and they're going to increase the budget by quite uh, quite a bit. Uh, will it help? Will it hurt? Nothing matters. There's nothing you could do to them. There's nothing, there's nothing you could do other than fire everyone involved in and start over. And they're not going to do that. So it doesn't matter if it's this or, you know, the wheel, not the wheel of time, the, um, the Lord of the Rings rumors. Um, they're trying to revamp things for season two. You can't save it. There's nothing you can do to anything. Um, it doesn't matter if Marvel, Disney, anything that you, you, any name you've heard of, they don't like, don't try to save her. She doesn't want to be saved. So um, they're going to increase the budget by a lot to 10 million pounds. Yeah, okay, so that's like this, the CGI will, will look better. And they got a new doctor with zero audience appeal. 
uh you know there's like the missing step and then there's the profit but um they don't like they just don't care about profit none of these companies care about profit so let me look at the the facts with the new doctor will he bring in an audience to pay for the show like political correctness aside just pretend you're pretend you're like you just don't have that political correctness gene you're very thick like me you just don't you just don't quite get it well, what was the show about? Like, what do people associate with that name, Doctor Who? And what are they? How do they think of the show? Uh, some English guy runs around on adventures in a very quirky, low-budget English show. That's what people liked about the show. And the cultural Marxists entered the picture. They find something that you enjoy, and they um, struggle snuggle it to death. Essentially, they flow the silica rich waters through the structure and replace the original carbon with silicon, turning the organic into the inorganic, just completely lifeless. This stone, it's exactly what you wanted. We had a piece of wood before and you've turned it to stone. It's, it's not the same thing, but it looks exactly the same. You're a Bolshevik, aren't you? If you think the English, <laughs> are you stone phobic out of the show? It's not the same show. I know it's, I, you know, like I even look at this video and like I, I start thinking like, ah, uh, there's just some topics now that like YouTube's getting stricter and I'm also kind of losing my patience for it. I realize like, I don't even know if they're bought, they're worth making to be so politically correct. Cause you don't know, like the rules evolve day by day. Um, it, you know, it's not the same show, Dr. Who, James Bond, whatever, a quirky English show only works when there's an Englishman as the star. I don't know why that's so hard for them to understand without immediately they lose their mind or they start ad hominem. So what you're saying is, I, I said what I said. I think you understood. You don't need to reformat it so you can strawman the argument and knock down an easier argument. I, that, it's like this is a consumer speaking. There's nothing you can say after the consumer's opinion that matters. It's just the consumer's opinion. I represent tens of millions of people, I, as you do too. The Englishman is the center of the story, whether it's James Bond, Doctor Who, or whoever. I think we're kind of at a fundamental schism of irreconcilable differences here. People are not fungible. I want to see an English, Irish, Scottish, Welsh, whatever in this show. That's how I identify the show in my mind. It doesn't matter if I'm right or wrong. I'm the consumer. It's it. That's all you need to know is the consumer's opinion. You, you're not going to argue with millions of consumers. It's just much easier to sell them what they will pay for. In this case, it's paid for by time spent with advertising dollars or a Disney Plus subscription. I don't want to see. I, I want to see the show as I remember it, as I associate it in my mind. Um, I don't want to see a show that just looks like an American show, like an American, you know, checklist of uh, United Colors of Bennington, like uh, Melrose Avenue. They just picked uh, the first fifty people that walked in. It's like, oh, that's this is this is diversity. Okay, so it looks like a Hollywood it's Hollywood checklist, and you know, Hollywood's an asshole as as is our American shows. Also, it's like, why did why would you want to go down the same path? And I'm tired. I'm tired of a lot of this stuff. I'm tired of this endless. Um, social re-engineering this endless conflict and endless obvious narrative a very one-sided heavy-handed um proselytizing hollywood types to me i'm tired of of all that and i know i'm not the only one i know i'm not the only one even people on twitter are kind of waking up the thing is most of us want to escape cultural marxist propaganda through comic books and movies uh, all these kind of shows. And at one time you used to be able to do that, or at least it wasn't as heavy handed. And, and that time has passed. Like I look at Hollywood, and I go, oh, it's like, it's really over. I think people are waking up to that. I mean, my tolerance is a little bit thinner than a, a, a lot of other people's, but I do think the window of tolerating um, like prop Hollywood propaganda has shifted back a little bit. So the fundamental disconnect is I think globalism is cancer. Um, every thing every people every anyone who values it i just look at like they're an idiot because or they have um or they're a bad actor in one way or another or they're just using a medium um that was supposed to be entertainment to spread nothing but propaganda where you're it's like uh someone was on twitter pointing out something about a saturday night live skit where she's talking about uh She's a trucker character and she's talking about deleting kids for, you know, a political thing that's coming up on the ballot and how that's like that. That's a, a that was a left wing voting poll for people. And as it turned out, they polled people. It's like, like that was two percent of, of people who cared about that issue. And the vast majority of people only cared about um, inflation. And I mean, there's 
So then someone on Twitter was like, wait, this is Saturday Night Live's a comedy. Why are you giving like a very thinly veiled lecture on, um, you know, the state's rights issues of, of deleting kids? It's like Saturday Night Live is supposed to be just, yeah, Saturday Night Live hasn't been what you would think of as, as SNL. And it was never, it was very rarely was it what you think it was it, like it was always preachy and it just was not as funny as you you watch it and remember I mean, like out of all the shows there's probably a small handful of not not entire shows were good but it's like there was a couple of sketches that were good and that's about it it's like it was always a very left-wing thing but now it's it's i mean it's nothing but it's just it's bizarre that they're still on the air unless i i assume uh Whoever owns that is subsidizing it to put it on the air, but eventually I think they're going to run out of money. It's like, oh, Saturday Night Live canceled after 50 years. Oh, why? Oh, because it it's just nonstop. Let's give it. Let's do a skit on abortion. Yeah, that's not that's not funny. And oh, you think women's rights? No, no, no. That's not the the issue. They have this argument on Twitter. It's like they're trying to explain it's a comedy show. It you're supposed to make it funny, not give people thinly veiled lectures. I can't imagine even a left wing audience is on board with that. But, you know, I, I like I, I have a hard time understanding people who I, I'm having like, like this point. It's like we just need to split up. I think this is just it's kind of a farce that's gone on long enough. Anyway, I, I don't want to see globalist values in shows at all. If an English show has non-European people in it um, and then so does a French show, then you've kind of destroyed the uniqueness of those shows. If they all look like a Hollywood diversity checkpoint. You know, what's the point of watching a show if every show is just following just literally the same checklist of for casting, um, representation? Yeah, but those aren't my values. I don't want to see I don't want to see that United of Colors like all diversity, inclusion, compassion and kindness. Yeah, I don't want to see representation. I just want to see European people because the, the pendulum has swung too far the other direction where I know that if I see a non fair character, they're going to be a purse puppy. There's no growth for them whatsoever. Because the left wing is terrified. They literally, if you, if you give a left winger a black character and, and you say, oh, write me a multifaceted uh, a character with depth and a redemption arc, you'd be like, I can't do it. I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to get blacklisted in Hollywood. That's just the cold, hard truth. So like there's no, like the, the writer would turn down the job because like one job's not worth getting blacklisted in. And you realize like, oh, every single Pox character is going to be a completed character. It's it's the end stage of the character. And you're like, but that story, that's not how stories work. They, the beginning of the story, the development through the center of the story, conflict and resolution, and then the growth, and then the end of the story. Like that's not how Pox characters are written now. It's very, very shallow. Eventually, like for kids, you can write kids shows like that, like kids cartoon shows and that kind of stuff where it's very, very surface. But once they kind of get a little bit older, they start going, wait a minute. These older stories were great. I don't know. Will there, will there be books allowed in 20 years? Anyway, so I don't want to see the stuff. That I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of like revamping this on the fly because I realized like, I, I don't know. I don't know how much longer I can do this YouTube stuff and like try to try to get the point across without, you know, um, like I want to see something different on uh, on screen because ultimately, if I mean, if you're listening to this, like you have different values from the Hollywood people and, and like Hollywood people, are the worst people on earth. They have just that image of Oprah and Weinstein and just that like decades of that while simultaneously they're, they have they think they have the moral high ground to lecture us on stuff. And I look at this and like, uh don't fed post. Anyway, so 20 years ago, I probably would have accepted some of this kind of stuff. But now you pop on Doctor Who and you're expecting to see a bunch of UK people running around on their low budget adventure and they're, you know, driving around in, I don't know what English cars, Lotuses and Jaguars. I don't, I don't know what those are the low budget. I don't know what the budget. Um, no, Renault's front. I don't know. Okay, I don't know four cars. And the thing is, you don't see English people on the show, which is a problem because that's what I want. That's what I associate with. The, oh, but your association was wrong. No, you don't understand. It can't be. I'm not trying, like, I'm not trying to please you. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm polite, but I still have that disagreeableness. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to agree with you um, just to be polite and politically correct. And no consumer is on a TV show because you're not in the house yet watching them though. I do suspect that's in the future with streaming shows like, Oh, Hey, you're on Disney plus and you're not watching enough of these woke shows. We're reporting you to Nina Jankowicz. You think I'm kidding, right? You think I'm kidding. Um, 
all the predictions that people were making three years ago about the events that that happened. And then you go back and look at how many of those predictions were correct. Don't say anything in the comments about that kind of stuff. But you look back at how many of those predictions are correct. You're like, oh, dear God. Uh, 90% of them were correct. Oh, that's just conspiracy theory three years ago, but it came true. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. So you know that that Disney Plus thing, Nina Jankowicz's Ministry of Truth. Give it five years um, and see if I'm kidding in five years. Anyway, so I know all this stuff's not politically correct, but I also know it's like the time to not be politically correct is right effing now while, while you still can. Um, and the thing is, even the concept of political correctness is like that's just the Frankfurt School brainwashing causing a stimulus response. The goal of that is to bypass cognition entirely. But to break the programming by stop, getting people to stop to think now is remarkably easy with um, alt media – like you can go in my telegram for a month and ask questions of these people there. And I think they'd lead you to, to areas um, like you can break the programming now, probably in a month where if it was 90, 1990s, you'd have to, you'd have to really do a lot of your own reading and research. And it would take a decade to kind of finally awaken. But I mean, it's with social media now. It's like stuff is going to like, it's going to be, um, you know, tipping points when you reach tipping points and the equilibrium changes. Anyway, but if you stop to think about all this kind of stuff, like why, wait, why do I, why do I throw up a politically correct shield? Why do I have to self-censor? Think about how the media has changed over the years. Do you enjoy the change? Is it possible that Hollywood is a bunch of demon people brainwashing the populace to create NPCs? Just pause, meditate, focus your third eye and see the lizard and reject the reptilians. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, join the channel here or on subscribe star or the various other links. Thanks to uh, everyone who is... Uh, been very generous in their tech support for the uh, live streaming fund and i'll see you guys on the next episode